हेलो एवरीवन आई शिवम अग्रवाल असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर ऑफ बीकॉम डिपार्टमेंट आई वेलकम यू ऑल इन द लेक्चर सीरीज ऑफ इंफॉर्मेशन सिस्टम मैनेजमेंट सो वी आर ऑन द यूनिट थर्ड ऑफ अवर कोर्स एंड दैट इज अबाउट सिस्टम एंड सिस्टम डेवलपमेंट सो नाउ वी आर इन दिस लेक्चर वी हैव डिफाइंड द सिस्टम डेवलपमेंट लाइफ साइकिल दैट इज नोन एज एस डी एल सी so basically uh, in the previous lecture we have already discussed about what is system what are the various types of system why we are using system what are the various conditions on which we are making a system so now in this lecture we are defining a uh, software development life cycle means if you if i want to make a system so what are the procedure step by step procedure which i have to follow to make up uh, efficient or uh, manageable system so that can be uh, uh, fulfilling all the needs of the customer or or the requirements of the customers so uh, this is about the sdlc so let us start uh, with this lecture so the system development life cycle and effective sdlc should result in a high quality system that meets customer expectations reaches completion within time and cost evaluation and work efficiently and effectively in the current and planned information technology infrastructure so basically sdlc ensures that whatever the system you are making is uh, uh, fulfilling all the requirements of a customer and it is timely completed and uh, the uh, cost is very minimum and accurate cost will be coming out and work efficiently and efficiently uh, effectively and efficiently in the current and planned information technology infrastructure so sdlc is a conceptual model which includes policies and procedure for developing or altering system throughout their life cycle so that is the sdlc phase uh, the, the first phase is the analysis okay, we have to analysis what we have to done and for that uh, second is after analysis we have to planning okay, what what is the planning for uh, defining a system and third is design we have to make according to the plan we have to make a design uh, after that fourth is development after making a design we have to develop our system and next one is the testing we have to develop uh, after development of the system we have to test whether it meets all the requirements which have to which i have need or customer needs so that is the testing and after that deployment means we have to deploy the system to the customers and uh, after that uh, we will know the maintenance how the system will work after deployment and that in evaluation evaluate the system and after that disposal if if there is a no need of system so then then we dispose that system so that is a, a nine phase sdlc basically there are seven phase of sdlc uh, that is uh, from analysis to maintenance so the fun, uh, the first one is the analysis and feasibility so for an sdlc strategy to work there should be a strong idea of what deficiency exists in the current structure and the goals of new approach a feasibility study determines if you can or should accomplish the goals of a plan information is gathered and analyzed to identify what technical assets personnel and training is already in place and utilized this study also inventories what is needed to augment or replace and and at what cost during this phase you determine the overall project scope including economic operational and human factor identify key personnel and developing timeline so basically analysis is a phase on which you will analysis all the things ki what is the cost of this system how many time how much time it will take uh, and uh, the overall project including economic fi financials operationals and human factors we will analyze all the things and uh, uh, if there is a uh, system is already uh, there present but we have to uh, upgrade that system so what are the drawbacks of the previous system so we have what we have to update in that system so that is the analysis phase after coming to that is a planning phase so after analysis we have uh, uh, think about all the things ke, uh, our budget is this our cost is this our requirement is this then after that we have to plan accordingly so the planning requirements a plan can include adaptive uh, current system to meet new needs or developing a completely new system this phase defines user requirements identifies needed features functions and customizations 
and investigate overall capabilities of the system after making a planning means you have to plan all the requirements uh, needed functions features customizations after that you have to need the design so once you make the plan and identify cost system and user requirements a detailed system design can begin that includes features and other documentation the architect can then build a simple framework so basically we have to make a design that is a made up of framework and uh, we we have to make a framework so uh, with that framework we will know that yeah, our system will functions like that perform like that so that's the point of design coming uh, to the next point that is a system development after design whenever uh, the blueprint is uh, ready so you have to design your system so for designing that an approved design is the catalyst for authorizing development for the new or augmented system some say that this is the most robust part of life cycle during this phase developers write code and you construct a fine technical uh, a fine tune technical and physical configurations so development is that we have to develop the uh, system with the help of coding or anything which we want so that's a development next is the testing so users are brought into the test before deployment uh, to identify areas of concern or improvement so testing is done for any is there any drawback is remain in the system and what are the uh, what are the functions which are not properly working so that's where, for that we are using a testing after that deployment the system is put into a production environment and used to conduct business so the deployment is uh, done after the testing is uh, completed so we will uh, deploy the system in the, in a production environment and use to conduct businesses next is the maintenance so the cyclic nature of sdlc recognize that the process of change and upgradation are constant carry out the replacement of outdated hardware software security upgrades and continuous improvement on a regular basis so we have to know that uh, whenever a uh, technology change we have to upgrade our systems as well as so for that maintenance is very much requirement for any type of system evaluation and often overlooked element of a large scale system roll out in a evaluation process which support the continuous improvement of the system the term continuously reverse what is a working and what is need of improvement this can mean recommend recommending additional training procedure and upgrade so evaluation is there if there is any new technology is coming in this field so what is what are the evaluation and according to that evaluation we have to upgrade our system so that is the evaluation process after that disposition disposal and end of life a well rounded life cycle identifies the decommissions surplus or obsolete asset at the end of their life cycle included in this phase is secure retrieval of data and information for preservation as well as physical disposition of an asset so that's um, uh, these are the phases of sglc so in this lecture we have determined what are the sglc phases how can we determine uh, done with the uh, sdlc so basically uh, in the in the system we have defined what is a system so basically system is uh, that okay, we have given an input that is processed out and uh, processing is controlled by a controlling system and the output is given on the basis of output the feedback is produced and the, if there is a negative feedback so we have to make it as a positive feedback and if there positive feedback then they, then the boundaries and the fear evaluation is coming out so the system is that and uh, to make that system we have to maintain a system development life cycle that is known as a sglc so there are nine phases of sglc one is analyzing analyzing uh, analysis of phase means we have to analyze all the information regarding that project after analyzing that information we have to plan our project planning is coming out after planning we have to design that system Okay, what is the system designing what is the uh, design we have need after that we have to come out uh, with the de development after design we have to develop our system whether it is a, a, a software or it is any other thing so we have to develop it 
after that the, the testing is done testing with means is there any drawback is remain in the system or not so for that we are using a testing and after that deployment is done so we have deployed the system on, on the customers which are needed and after that we will go to the maintenance maintenance is used if their system is any uh, system is, is not working properly for that we have to maintain that system so that is coming to the maintenance part and then evaluation evaluation is there if there is any technology upgradation so we have to evaluate our system according to the technology so that is the evaluation and disposal if the uh, uh, the end of life of a project so that is the coming out of the end of life of project so that's all about the SDLC. So whenever we are making a uh, system, we have to uh, follow this procedure. So with uh, if if we follow this procedure, then we are making surely we make a good system and an efficient system. So SDLC is a process which we have to follow for making any system. But uh, uh, for that, there are so many models. With with the help of that models, we can make our system. So uh, for the for the models uh, which we are uh, uh, study in the uh, next lecture for uh, the system models uh, how which models we have to use according to our requirements and what are the drawbacks and what are the advantages of every model so that will the that will be done in the next lecture so thank you thank you for the day.